today let's discuss about the protection basics with the help of real time project using etap software i will explain briefly about the basics of relay setting and coordination so before starting before starting let's understand if we talk about the uh, relay setting and coordination these two are different thing one is relay setting another is relay coordination so what's the basic difference between these two and obviously when you are going to do the relay setting using whether it is manual method and after that the setting validation using etap software or any other simulation software you can use obviously after doing the relay setting you must proceed with the relay coordination this is the relay coordination which is nothing but the protective device coordination with respect to time with respect to time relay coordination is the time grading this is time grading and let's say this relay setting is the individual individual setting so first of all based on the current based on the continuous current flow considering the margin or the uh, short circuit current firstly you need to specify the uh, relay setting each in each individual relay setting that means each component suppose 50 instantaneous 51 idmt these relay settings and after that you need to proceed for the relay coordination which is the coordination or the time discrimination or time grading between more than one protective devices from downstream towards upstream let's go back to etap software with the help of real time simulation i will show you and i will explain briefly how to do that so for the relay before using the relay we need to specify the current transformer so this is the ct what will be the ct ratio let's check here the transformer secondary continuous current rating here primary secondary side 6.6 .6 kb side this is 6 to 7.6 amps full load current so let's select this ct ratio let's select this ct ratio as 800 bar 1 amp 800 bar 1 amp suppose this is 5p20 designation and let's say this relay burden is 10va now let's select one relay here this is the multifunction relay now going to the parameter here <coughs> so this input we need to define this input that means ct input it is automatically it has taken this ct1 and 800 bar 1 is the ct ratio okay 
दैट्स ओके ओके आउटपुट इन केस ऑफ एनी फॉल्ट इन द डाउन स्ट्रीम सो दिस सी बी नंबर वॉट इज द सी बी नंबर आई वॉन्ट टू ट्रिप दिस सी बी फोर्टीन दिस सी बी फोर्टीन टू बी ट्रिप्ड सो यू नीड टू स्पेसिफाई द सी बी हियर ओके डन नाउ गो टू द मेन रिले टैब हियर सो वी नीड टू सिलेक्ट फ्रॉम द लाइब्रेरी फॉर द स्टैंडर्ड मैनुफैक्चरर्स सो हियर एज यू कैन सी टिल नाउ दीज आर जीरो गो टू द लाइब्रेरी लेट सिलेक्ट सपोज ए बी बी डी ले दिस वीडियो विल कवर ओनली फिफ्टी वन दैट इज दैट मीन्स आई डी एम टी डी ले एंड फिफ्टी इंस्टेंटेनियस मे बी दिस वीडियो विल बी कवर्ड इन टू पर्ट ओके लेट्स सिलेक्ट द रिले suppose this is feeder protection let's select rdf rdf 542 plus over current and overload okay so now this is the setting for this relay model abb make model rdf 542 plus this relay i have selected so here is a component over current this is 51 idmt idmt and this is instantaneous 50 so let's first talk about this idmt here let's select this whether uh, this is definite time extremely inverse long inverse or normal inverse or very inverse so these are the relay types so if you are not familiar with this ic uh, relay curve i will show you one manual okay that's fine here you can see this is standard inverse that means normal inverse and this is the equation from ic 60255 what will be the time multiplier that uh, t time dial so this is very inverse this is extremely inverse this is long time standby Are fall, so these are the formula. And if you scroll down, yeah, these are the relay types: IDMT over current relays. So standard inverse, very inverse, extreme inverse, and definite time. So these are the different types of IDMT relays.